Now watch what happens when we take a sample of 30 random values from this distribution and calculate their average, then we do it again and again and again. Each time we get a slightly different average because we're picking different random numbers. But here's the thing, if we keep track of all these averages and plot them on a graph, they don't spread out uniformly like the original numbers did. Instead, something remarkable happens as we collect more and more of these sample averages and you can see them piling up in the middle more than at the edges, creating this mountain-like shape that gets smoother and more defined with each new sample we add. After just a hundred samples, you can already see the pattern emerging. And when we overlay the mathematical curve of a normal distribution on top, it matches almost perfectly. Which means our random averages are following this specific bell-shaped pattern, even though we started with a completely flat, uniform distribution. Now you might think this is just a quirk of uniform distributions, but here's the kicker. It doesn't matter what shape your original data has, whether it's exponential dropping off quickly or bimodal with two humps or skewed leaning to one side because when you take enough samples and average them, they all converge to the same bell-shaped normal distribution.